Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Caio, I'm from Brazil, but I'm living in America more or less five years and a half. And uh, I bought this Honda Goldwing in 1988, um, probably two years ago. And uh, I started to feel like the clutch here no work really good. Especially when I put the neutral, I started the bike when I shift the first gear to start to go uh, looks like he kick the bike try go yeah I have full gravity here uh, when started doing this my first thing to do almost uh, eight or nine months ago I rebuilt the sleeve clutch okay this guy there, he have one kind of piston inside here. You see the seal there. This is on body. Let me show to you. Just a second. Um, you need to move the piston here you replace this seal there okay the spring it is the seal here too okay you put together everything take it back in here you'll see there you put the, the spring first there inside there like it is See there? There we go. I did it this eight or nine months ago. Well, the, the bike work working decent, not perfect, but decent. Okay. But uh, after nine months, I started making the same problem. I checked the brake fluid. It was okay, no missing brake fluid. I bleed again because sometimes take air in the circuit. No, like a break, but it's still the same problem. I feels like uh, the first gear kick, in the second, the third. When I'm riding, uh, feels like the gears, uh, no, no change is move. You know, like he uh, hit the teeth. You know, you feels like this. So I, uh, I research internet, blah blah blah. And the people start speak about change the friction discs you now replacing the, the bridge the friction disc I started looking for YouTube because you know it's it's hard to you doing by yourself if you pay somebody else to cost a lot of money so the first option always is doing it by yourself you know to save money but don't have so much information about this type of job you know just one guy YouTube uh, the name of the channel is just my opinion but this guy says about uh, Motorhead Joe, uh, explaining how this assembly, everything's blah, blah, blah. But you try find the Motorhead Joe, this guy just disappear. He don't have anymore the channel on YouTube. So you are complete alone, complete to make this type job. So I did it by myself. How I did this? I explained. Uh, first place, you need to disconnect the battery and the negative, okay? because you need to move the alternator okay uh, when disconnect the negative you start to disassemble the alternator you take off the alternator uh, check the boots because this is the boots here it's like a wobber he absorbed the impact check the boots too if it's, uh, it's not too hard too because it's like a wobber he lost property to confirm you use him per year, for years make sure he's flexible Okay, you know, break the, the little the little tab here. No, take opportunity to make one good inspection, you know, make sure everything is right. It's a good chance, you know, to make a complete inspection about everything, you know. To make it just one job, not two or three jobs, you know. So, when will you move the, the alternator or oh, magneto? Uh, pay attention to the position of the bolts, too. Because if you look here in the alternator, he have a... Uh, two big holes here 
e o one is smaller. Ok? This means this bolt here is not too fat. Is, the diameter is a little bit small. Just a little bit, but it is small. So keep in the same position like this. First the tiny one and the fat ones here, the other fat there. Keep the same position because when you put together the alternator or magneto, you're doing right. You know, doing it wrong, okay? Um, let me see. To, to disassemble the, the cover there, it's very simple too. A steam limiter socket, but you have two types of bolts. You have a longer and you have a short one, okay? Try pay attention the position. If you want, take the cover, make one draw in the paper, one piece of paper, okay? Uh, mark the distances here because perhaps here is short and there is longer. It's for cause these have a different size bolt. One is longer, the other is short. One is longer one, you go in the long distance here. One is short one. You go in here. Don't put the longer one in the short because when you try put the longer, the short one no works. You know, go through. You see it there. I look. Pay attention. Make one draw in one one paper. It will be okay. And um, the the cover. Speak about a little bit about the cover. Try change the gasket too. No trust in the older one. Okay. Uh, change because just ten dollars. Not too too expensive. Okay. Um, the seal change the seal because if the seal is bad, uh, he started mixing the engine oil with brake fluid because this makes sure he don't mix it up. Okay, take opportunity to change this seal. It's eight, eight millimeters by twenty five by eight, the dimensions. But they have a number part, part number. You check internet. You put their uh, uh, clutch cover oil seal. They shows to you, especially in part Zilla. They have first sale there. So I'm going ahead and now to make it a second video, okay? Thank you so much for outing.